How's it going everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to run full Visual Studio on your iPad Pro like you see here. So this ability to run Visual Studio or really any desktop application on your iPad Pro has been introduced in the new iPad OS and Mac OS Catalina with the feature called Sidecar and essentially what that does is it allows you to use your iPad Pro as a, a, another monitor or another display in, with your uh, MacBook Pro. So right now I have my MacBook Pro sitting across the room um, and my iPad Pro is mirroring my, my MacBook Pro's display and I can do everything I can do on my MacBook now on my iPad so before we get any further into the explanation of this feature, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up on any Apple computer that runs Mac OS uh, Catalina. So real quick uh, setup, so I'll show it to you right now. Okay, so when you're on your computer here, the first thing you want to do is check to see that Bluetooth is turned on. Once that's turned on, you're going to want to go to Displays, and then Go ahead and check this box on the bottom here for show mirroring options in the menu bar when available. You don't necessarily have to have that enabled, but it just allows you to be able to select the sidecar option um, in two clicks, as opposed to going into the settings here in the sidecar and connecting this way. So that just is a little shorter option to, to do that. But if you go into the sidecar settings here, you can say connect to, and then on your iPad, make sure you have the Bluetooth turned on as well. So once Bluetooth is turned on, go ahead and say connect to iPad, that should connect. And then once you'll see it connected, this will turn blue here. You have the options to disconnect. Um, you can have the display options and you have your show sidebar and show touch bar options. Okay, so the cool thing about this too is I can do basically everything I do on my MacBook Pro now on my iPad. So if I need to, let's say, edit this one view I'm on, I can just select it with the Apple Pencil, select you know any line of code, um, and then I can pull up the on-screen keyboard and make quick edits right on my iPad. So this is the project that I had loaded up. Um, I can basically you know do everything that I have, can do on my MacBook Pro on my iPad now so really neat um, and obviously I know it's not running on the iPad before you say anything in the comments please don't because I know that it's just another display obviously but it sounds cool when you say it's running on your iPad so especially given the current circumstances uh, you might be working from home and that gets a little you know tedious after a while because it's like you see the same things every day you're around the same surroundings and for some of us maybe you know you wake up and then you just go into the office room and you're there for you know eight however many hours a day and you know <laughs> when you're done you're like okay I'm still in the house now what well if you need if you feel like you need a little bit of a break or you want to go outside but maybe you don't want to take your whole computer outside with you and you want to sit um, out on the porch or something like that and you do programming or you do like um, web design um, some type of editing that requires um, like a pencil or apple pencil you can now leave your macbook on inside in whatever room that has bluetooth you know the connection will last uh, and you can take your ipad outside now and do everything that you could normally do just you can use this now Thanks for checking this video out. Uh, if you like these iPad programming type videos, um, let me know in the comments. I'll try to try to make some more. Um, and I feel like given everything that's going on, the virus and everything, we have a lot more time at home now. Uh, so I need some video ideas. I need some uh, I need some content to, to make and put on the channel. So I'll be thinking of stuff. So hopefully I'll get around to putting more videos up on the channel. Um, I'm trying to get my setup still you know, all the way done. Um, I do have a, I finally have a mic coming in. So that'll be in about a week. So hopefully the audio quality doesn't sound terrible like it has. Um, so stay tuned for that one. I'll be doing a setup and unboxing of that one when it comes in. So I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you updated. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.